everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie and if you're new here then welcome. I make videos on baby play, toddler play and just general mum life. So if you like that kind of thing then please do consider sticking around and subscribing. I would love to have you. I've got Rupert here with me today. If you can hear a little bit of squealing in the background that's what it is and I've also got Finley sleeping in the room next door so I'm playing with fire a little bit but hopefully he won't wake up. Um, Today I thought that I would share with you all of my baby best buys. I actually asked on Instagram which video people would like me to film and this was the one that got the most votes. So I thought that I would share with you not just my baby best buys but the things that I wish that I had known about before having babies. So most of these apart from one, there's one thing that's new this time around but everything else is tried and tested from my first son and then I've used it again this time around. All of the things in the video are suitable for babies from about newborn up to one year old. So there's things for younger babies and then things for older babies as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that's on my list is something that actually we may not need now that we're going into um, the springtime in the summer. But if you're due to have a baby in the autumn or winter or in fact to prepare for this coming autumn and winter, this would be a really good thing to buy. They are pram gloves. So I'll we'll turn that one round. So basically they're gloves that you Velcro, they've got a Velcro strap here and you attach them onto your pram handle using the Velcro strap and then they're attached all the time to your pram and then all you have to do if you if it's cold in the winter is put your hands in and grab hold of the, the pram handlebars and then if you need to get anything out your bag or if you need to tend to your baby you can just slip your hands out of them and they stay attached to your handlebars without you having to faff with pulling off your gloves and put, holding them in your mouth or putting them down somewhere while you sort something out so I have used those with Finley and then I've used them again with Rupert and I absolutely love them. The next thing that's on my list is this snooze shade. So what this is, is a piece of breathable like mesh fabric. It's got holes in um, and it's got a zip down the front so that you can see your baby inside the pram and then it's got these um, straps on the side so basically the idea is that you put this over the car seat or the pram while your baby's sleeping and you're out and about and it provides shade for them so if you've got a baby that needs dark to sleep um, or you don't want them to kind of get distracted by what's going on around them when you when they're due to take a nap then these are invaluable and um, they're great obviously because they are breathable um, and they've got that zip part so that you can easily look in on your baby without having to undo the velcro and disturb them um, mine is from Amazon but again I'll leave the link for this and in fact rather than keeping on saying it I'll try and put links down below for everything um, the thing to remember just with this is to make sure that you're not using it to protect your baby from sun if it's very hot because of course this could increase the temperature inside your pram or car seat by a great amount and that's very dangerous for your baby so not to be used in hot weather but yeah great for keeping the pram or car seat nice and dark the next thing that is sleep related that I absolutely love is our white noise machine and we actually have a My Hummy. This is Rupert's, we've also got one for Finley and he still uses his. Um, Finley's got a blue one, this one, pink one is Rupert's. Um, we got this one second hand actually from Facebook Marketplace. Relatively expensive but you can find them quite inexpensively on Facebook Marketplace um, and then obviously I just washed the outer cover. They've got a zip back and then inside it's got the little box that makes the noise. So obviously this you can just throw in the washing machine if it gets dirty you just need to remember to take that part out. Um, and the great thing about this is that when you click it on, I'll do it now and see if you can hear. So when you click it on it stays on for an hour. And then if the baby, after that time, if the baby makes any noise or if there's, sorry, just had to grab Rupert there. If there's any kind of external noise, then they're great because what they do is they come back on um, and so it soothes your baby back to sleep. And they'll last um, doing that, coming on and turning off again for 12 hours, I believe it is. Um, so basically the whole night. They come in several different configurations, but I like the flat kind of bare head one because it's got this strap on the back so you can easily strap it to the side of a cot or to um, the side of a pram if you're going out and about. Also, they're really small, so great to take with you if you're going out for the day and you want to kind of create that uh, safe 
familiar sleep environment for your baby. The next thing on my list and the one new purchase that I made this time around is something that I wanted last time but I bought so much baby stuff by the time Finley was born that I just thought I cannot bring myself to spend any more money on anything else so I didn't get one. Um, but I got one this time and it is the Moroc, I think that's how you say it, Moroc car seat blanket. So the idea with this is that it's got holes in the back here. So you basically sit it into your car seat and then the car seat straps come through these holes and then obviously the bottom one comes through here that goes between their legs. And then it sits inside the car seat. You put baby on top of it and it doesn't impede on the straps sitting on them because um, you mustn't ever put babies in car seats wearing coats or, or blankets underneath the car seat straps because it's not safe. Um, some people think that these aren't safe but personally in my opinion and this is just my opinion obviously you make your own decisions these don't seem to to me any different than putting a blanket over your baby when, when they're in the car seat which is obviously what you do in cold weather um so you pop your baby in there and then you can just wrap them up inside the blanket and then when you're in a shop or you're going somewhere warm you can just flip it off and then cover them back up when you go outside and it's great because you don't have to faff with snowsuits you don't have to faff with loads of different blankets and things this one's even got a little hood on I actually don't really use the hood I um I put him in his own hat and we just kind of I just kind of have that flat and his head goes on top of there but anyway so that's the Moroc car blanket I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I bought one. They are quite expensive. Again, this one was second hand. I actually bought this one from eBay and I would definitely, definitely recommend these, especially if you're having a winter or an autumn baby. One of the best baby toys that we were actually gifted when Finley was a baby are these. And they are just plastic links. Oops. These ones are actually a different brand than these so these ones are plastic these ones are actually rubber um, and these are great for um, especially well they're both great for teething but these ones are especially nice for babies to teeth on um, these are amazing things they look really you know nothingy but they're great because they're different textures for a start they're great because babies can grab onto them with their hands they can use them to put in their mouths for teething they're obviously super safe for babies they can't swallow them there's no small parts they're really easy to clean and sanitize and the best part about them in my opinion is that they're so small that you can throw them in your changing bag take them out with you and then you've got a toy for on the go and when you're out and about you can clip them onto the side of the car seat or the side of the pram so they don't get lost and then obviously trail them we've got a few more than these I'm not sure where they are actually at the moment but you can trail them into the pram so the baby can still hold on to them if you've got um, a baby gym with like a toy arch over the top or a baby bouncer then these are great to hang down and babies can have a go at um, grasping onto them and tracking them with their movement and then obviously again putting them in their mouths for teething if you're looking for a toy to buy somebody that's having a baby this is what I would 100% recommend and they're so inexpensive as well Sorry, the sun is tracking me around, so I've just moved you ever so slightly. I know I'm still a little bit side lit, but that's just life at the moment with these kind of funny sunny days. Not complaining though. Um, so the next thing on my list are muslins, but not just any muslins. These are the huge... Ta-da! <laughs> this is folded in half as well, so they're actually twice as big as this. These are the Aiden and Ane baby blankets or muslins um, and we absolutely love these. These are from when we had Finley so they've lasted for us really well with two babies. They wash so well, they're really soft, they're much nicer than most of our other muslins that we have. I've got another one here that's um, a big one as well. I think this one was from Mother Care which is now obviously um, no longer, I can't find the label. Um, but this one's not half as soft as the Aiden and Anae ones. They're a little bit stretchy as well, so they're good for swaddling if you've got small babies. Um, and I use these for everything. So they're great for, um, again, covering up your car seat or your pram if you want a little bit of dark. They're great for laying on the floor as a blanket. They're great for wrapping around babies as a blanket if, you're, if it's a little bit chilly when you're out and about. And the best thing, of course, is using them, for my, in my opinion, as a muslin for catching 
sick. Um, having had two babies with reflux, Finley had very bad reflux and Rupert has got cow's milk protein allergy. So at the beginning of his life, he was very sick often. Um, these are be the best because those little muslin squares just don't catch anything. And these ones, I kind of just drape it on myself like that and then put him on me here. And then I know that I'm mostly protected from getting covered in anything. And then there's loads of extra as well for wiping up things. The other thing that I like from the Aiden and A brand are these um, burp cloths. So they're, I, they're designed in this kind of shape to fit around your neck and put on your shoulder to burp your baby. They have also got um, a little clasp on them there and that is actually what we use ours for. So we clasp ours together and use them as a bib and these are great again if you've got a quite a sicky baby because they just protect them so much from getting their clothes constantly wet or sicky and having to change them all the time so what I when I use these most is when I am um, feeding at night time so I will put one of these on Rupert before I feed him and then I know that if he is sick, he's going to be sick onto this. And then I don't have to faff about in the middle of the night with trying to change his sleep suit or vest if he's sick onto it. The other thing that we love for sleep, and that's too big to show here, but I will insert the clip now, is our co-sleeping crib. We have got the Tutti Bambini Cozy, and I love it because it attaches to our bed. It's really easy for me to be able to access Rupert during the night. I can just lean over and look at him while he's sleeping rather than having to sit up all the way. Really easy to lay him down again after feeding. Um, and ours is great as well because it has an adjustment on the end so that you can adjust the height of the um, crib not only to suit your bed but you can also tilt it which is what we've done so we've got the head end slightly higher than the foot end just to help Rupert with his reflux. Something that's mentioned on a lot of videos like this and I'm sure if you're anything like me you've watched tons of videos like this um, but are these snot suckers. This, a, a lot, uh, the really popular brand is Nose Frida. I'm not sure if you can get that in the UK actually, but this one is from Boots anyway. Um, and it does the exact same job. So basically the idea is that you put this end in your mouth and you put this end in the baby's nose and then it's got a little filter in the middle there. So you won't suck anything up the straw um, and you can just put pop this bit in their nose. I've got some saline drops that I put in his nose first just to kind of soften it up and then you can suck out their snot. It sounds really gross but believe you me if you have got a baby with a snotty nose there is nothing worse than first of all hearing your baby struggling to breathe at night time but also the fact that if they have got a snotty blocked up nose even though they can breathe through their mouths they choose to breathe through their noses and um, you can't sleep because they won't sleep so believe me <laughs> Even if you think this is gross, after you've spent a sleepless night with a snotty nosed baby, you'll be willing to give it a try. The next thing that I have to show you is something that's suitable for babies from six months plus when they start to wean. And it's something that we didn't buy beforehand, but we bought when Finley was probably about seven months old. And I found it an absolute lifesaver. And it is this. Um, chair it's called the chico or kiko i think is how you actually pronounce that name pocket snack um ours is from amazon i'll fold it up in a second or i'll in fact i'll in insert a little clip of it folded up so that you can see what it looks like and these are brilliant because when you go into most restaurants and pubs they have those terrible wooden high chairs that you pop your baby in especially when they're quite young when they're about six seven months and they've just started weaning and they flop about from side to side because the high chairs are so wide and big so you've got to like wedge them in with coats and things to keep them from falling over they don't have trays on them so you end up having to pull them up to the table they're often not even the right height to reach the table um, and then you've got the whole issue of the table being dirty and not clean so these are brilliant because it comes with its own tray you know where it's been you know that it's clean and um, your baby can sit in it perfectly well it's all adjustable and um, the height's adjustable as well and it's very inexpensive. I just used to throw ours in the bottom of our pram when we were going out and about and it was a lifesaver on multiple occasions. We will definitely be using it again this time. 
I have just got two things left to show you now. Um, the first of which is this, which looks a bit bizarre, but it is a stand for your baby monitor. So if you are like us, we have the problem when Finley was little of not having a shelf close enough to the cot to put the baby camera on. And you obviously don't want to put the baby camera anywhere near to the crib because of wires and it being dangerous. Um, our baby camera was also very annoying because it didn't tilt down enough so that you couldn't see him properly when he was in his cot. So these are great because you can clip them anywhere. You could clip them, you could clip them onto the side of a cot um, as long as it's way away from where the baby is. Um, or a shelf and you clip them on there so you've got a really strong clamp and then this bit here is completely bendable so that you can twist it and bend it to exactly the right angle and then it's got this um, velcro pad so we've got the other half on our baby monitor camera and then you just velcro it onto here this little shelf bit stops it slipping forwards as well and then you can easily position your baby camera whichever way you'd like to be able to see your baby while they're sleeping in their crib and then the very last thing that I wanted to share with you is our Angel Care baby bath. This I actually saw on a list like this when I was pregnant with Finley um, and decided to buy and I did not regret it. They are, in my opinion, the very best baby baths that you can get because they allow your baby to sit in the bath. You don't need to hold them at all. You're completely hands free. They're really clean and sterile, so they're easy to clean. And also, I think, if I remember correctly, they have some kind of sterile coating on them so that they don't get mouldy. Ours has never got mouldy in the years that we've used it. And they're just absolutely fantastic. I actually use ours as well, not just in the bath, but if I'm, if I'm in the bath myself or in the shower. And I just pop Rupert in there while I'm in the bathroom, and then he's very happy to sit in there and watch me get ready we actually have the next stage up as well in the angel care seat and i'll put a picture in to show you here um so this is really good for babies once they kind of want to sit up a little bit more and don't want to lay back um and we use this right up until finley was i would say probably coming up to two years old when we decided that he was big enough to sit up by himself in the bath and he didn't need any extra support and then we just got one of those rubber bath mats that you put in the bath for them to sit on hi everybody i'm just editing the video and i forgot to add one bonus item and that is our becco gemini baby carrier um, this is our absolute favourite carrier, but I would recommend that if you're interested in getting a baby carrier for yourself that you visit a sling library because they will be able to tell you the best carrier for your baby. Um, they talk to you about your different needs and you can try different ones, rent them and um, try them out and then swap them for different ones if you don't like the one that you have already. Um, if you search on Facebook for um, the name of your area and then sling library you should be able to find one local to you and even if you can't go and visit one at the moment they should be able to give you some advice over the phone so as i said ours is the becco gemini and we absolutely love it it's really good for your back doesn't hurt your back at all um makes the baby feel really nice and secure great for um hip health as well so those are my best baby buys um, for both of my boys. I hope that you found this useful. Um, are there any things on here that you hadn't thought of already? Are there things that you've got already? Have you got all of it? Um, do let me know in the comments below. If you want to ask me any questions about anything, then also pop that in the comment below. If you like videos like this, less kind of play um, related and more related to motherhood or baby life, then give this video a like so that I know to make more videos like this. And don't forget to please subscribe so that you are notified and see when I make new videos and new content for you. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.